In this video, I'll show you how to create active campaign tasks to let your sales team know that there are to-do items to complete on specific deals like follow-ups. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for your base businesses. Let's dive in. So before I show you how to create active campaign tasks, first let's talk about what tasks are, as well as deals and pipelines. Now We'll start at the bottom. Pipelines in sales are the processes or journeys that a sales opportunity takes from a lead to a conversion, and they're made up of different stages. All right, so in those pipeline stages, we have deals, and deals are the records for your contacts that have entered into the pipeline, and they're on track to becoming customers and converting. And this helps you distinguish a qualified contact lead as a sales opportunity, apart from the rest of the contacts that are kind of just in your active campaign CRM. And then for those individual contacts and their deals, you can create tasks, which are to-do items that will remind your sales team to take certain actions uh, to avoid potential sales opportunities from slipping through the cracks. So how do we create tasks in Active Campaign? Well, there are two different ways, uh, and you have the manual task creation, the automated task creation, and then you also have a task for a contact, which is just the uh, person that you're reaching out to and then tasks for their deals, which is a specific instance, uh, a specific opportunity for that contact. So just to give you an example, inside Active Campaign here, this is the contact for myself, this example, and we can have multiple deals on this contact. Maybe uh, they've been contacted multiple times in the past and in the present. Maybe they have been contacted for uh, different products that we offer. So you can have, again, multiple deals on the same contact. And this is a test deal that we created in a previous video. But I'm going to show you how to create tasks now for this contact uh, manually and then for the deals on this contact as well. So I'm inside Active Campaign in contacts. And I've gone to this uh, example contact here. And if I scroll all the way down to open tasks, you'll see it says zero. But I can click this add a task. And we'll put demo. And this lets you know what uh, action needs to be taken for the task. So is it an email? They're ready for a reply, Skype, call. Uh, you can create your own as well. And then set a due date, a due time, and the team member that this is assigned to. And if I click show more options, you can see there's a lot to automate. You can set reminders for the team member that needs to do the follow up. You can set it at the task due time, uh, minutes before, hours before, days before, and add multiple reminders as well. And you can trigger an automation whenever the task is first added or when the task is marked completed. Typically, uh, when we have completed a task, there may be some other detail that we want to update. And so you can build an automation and trigger that. And here are all the different automations. Whenever this task is added or when the task is marked complete. In the task description, you can add notes, details about what needs to happen for this task, make it as clear as possible for uh, another team member or for yourself to remember. And if you need to input a task, and mark it as complete. Maybe you already did the task and you just wanted to keep a record of it. Um, then you can do so here. I'll put demo. And we're not going to trigger an automation. I'll hit save task. And now you can see this here. Uh, because technically I started the demo a few minutes ago, it's marked as red. So it's saying that it's overdue uh, by two minutes. I can click into it and it would have sent me a, uh, a reminder via email to let me know that I have to follow up with this deal. So that is a task set for a contact, right? We're still directly inside the personal info of a contact for myself for this example. Now, what if we want to create a task for the deals for this contact? So one thing you can do is go into all deals, and you can go into the specific deal for that person. And now we've got the deal profile here. And you'll see in the top right, open tasks. 
You'll notice there are no open tasks because the one that we just created was for the contact. So it was at the contact level just for this specific person, um, Jason Kane, myself in this example, not at the deal level. So now we're going to create a task that is specific to the deal. Let's just call it follow up and we'll say it's a call assigned to someone else on our team. Uh, the due date will be tomorrow. Show more options. We will send them a reminder. Uh, let's say one day before, and actually I'll set it to myself. Demo and hit save task. All right, and now we have this here call follow up assigned to our sales team member. We have the due date, and if I click in, it'll give me you know the notes. I can delete it, save it, edit it, and the final way that we can create. A deal task is by going directly into the deals pipeline over here. Click into a deal. And now we're right back into the deal profile and we can go ahead and add the task. So those are the two ways to manually create tasks. And now I'll show you the way to automatically create a task in Active Campaign. So in the left menu, we'll go to our automations, create an automation, start from scratch. Hit continue. And typically we'll have a task follow a deal creation and a deal creation is going to be triggered by a tag being added or a lead score being updated. So let's say tag is added, downloaded PDF, demo, set it to run once, we'll hit start. And for our first step, we'll go to CRM, add a deal. We'll just fill this in and we'll set it to the new lead stage and put myself as the deal owner for the sales team, hit save. And now you can see here, it even suggests the action at a task or at a task and notify the deal owner. So let's do that one. You can see here, we're adding this task, contact and the email address. The task description, this is created automatically, but you can update it yourself. It says the deal was just created for email. Here, this is a personalization tag that will fill in the email of the person uh, who we just created a deal for. And it says get in touch with them, task type email. Uh, this is a three day follow up on the most recent deal for this contact in any pipeline. You can also build out a further automation from this, but we'll just hit save. And we're going to notify the deal owner with an email that lets them know, hey, you have this new deal. So this is perfect when you have uh, bigger opportunities. Maybe the value of the deal is above a certain threshold and you want either a specific team member or just any team member to reach out, have that human touch, make sure they take care of this larger opportunity uh, in order to hopefully close them for your business. This is a perfect process for that. You're creating a new deal. You're adding a task with a three day reminder to follow up with this deal. Then you're also notifying the deal owner via email saying, hey, go ahead and reach out. Uh, we have a new deal in the pipeline. So if you have any questions about creating uh, tasks for your sales team, let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you set that up for your account and active campaign.